Welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be unboxing Tank Duel Enemy in the Crosshairs from GMT Games. It is a solo playable tank game uh, set in World War II. Uh, looks to be uh, Eastern Front, uh, Germany, and Russia. And we will just see what you get inside. It's one of their bigger uh, three inch boxes, and it's very heavy. So. Uh, it says you can play one to eight players, and it includes a full solitaire system, so you can gang up as a group. I've heard a lot of good things about it, though, so I'm looking forward to looking forward to playing this one. Love, love a good tank game at the right scale. It's by Mike Berticelli, and Terry Leeds did the graphics on this one. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have a bunch of cards. We'll go through those. We got apparently battle cards and terrain cards and battle cards and scenario cards so we'll go open those in a little bit got your rules of playbook here it's very thin um, 20 page 20 page rule book it is full color matte finish very nice So that's the actual rules for the game, and then as usual, GMT includes a playbook that has the actual scenarios, including a solitaire example of play, and the scenarios and the solitaire rules, so, and then as well as a tutorial and advanced operation rules. Now this one comes in at 52 pages, and gives you, like I said, a tutorial there, and let's see how many scenarios we actually have here. We do not know. Well, let's go to page 22 to start checking out scenarios. So there we go. Um, you can create your own matchups. Um, scenario one, scenario two. Let's just jump ahead here. There's the solitaire rules, so that'll tell us there are well, those historical scenarios. So there's six scenarios and two historical scenarios in here, plus instructions on how to make your own uh, scenarios. So I'm gonna get that again. Nice artwork. They always do a great job on their uh, on their presentation. GMT does. So player A card. We've got. I wonder if we got eight of these. We got two, three. They're all the same. Four, five, six. Seven and eight. They give you eight. Uh, they're glossy single-sided or glossy double-sided single card uh, player eight cards, and you get one for each player. So if you're going to play with up to eight, each one can have their own card. No passing it around. Covers the sequence of play, draw phase, uh, the, the full turn order, tank actions, how to play the cards. So. And then we've got Robata Player Aid, which is the, the AI. And this will guide you through what the Robata does. So that's cool. And that's double-sided. I mean, you're two, four pages, uh, fold-out card. So there you go. And then we got some counter sheets. This looks like we've got three sheets. Um, this is sheet three. Then we've got sheet one which has our um, commanders, drivers, or crew tokens, spotter tokens. Um, obviously German and Russian sheets here. Button hatch markers. Uh, and then the second sheet is the uh, various markers that you'll need. Range markers, uh, movement level, fire level so on and so forth so um, they are not the pre-rounded kind they do punch very cleanly they are the thicker the new thicker GMT style counters um, which tend to punch really cleanly and don't necessarily need rounding if you're not into that uh, they've also got this little section here that's marked as spares so there's some extra counters that you may not need and then we have our tank uh, control boards uh, 
And these are very nice. So if you remember like Patton's Best and things like that where you worked from a tank display and did other things, that's kind of how this is functioning. Uh, not the game itself, but the so you got the the uh, image of the tank and where the crew is and their status and commands and so on and so forth. So we have one. Is this the same one? Uh, I think these are damaged versus undamaged, perhaps. So we've got. Uh, well, you got two of the same one. So this is number one of the uh, Panzer IV G, and this is number two. So in a battle scenario, you may have multiples of the same tank. It's not just one tank on one tank. So actually, here's three and four. And then we got the Panzer Vs. We got one, two, three, four. All right, so that's eight tanks. And then the T-34s and 76s, M43s, we have one, two, three, and four. And for T-34, 85, M44s, we have, I bet, four. So you got 16 uh, these very thick, very nice, um, solid tank display boards. So you get those. And then we have cards. This deck here is marked scenario card. So they're actually all kind of mixed in here. So we've got damage cards. Uh, let's take a look at some of them here. So scenario card says city square, terrain man-made, place city square in your holding box as indicated by the scenario. And then we've got infantry cards, which give the uh, range the infantry range um, for what they're allowed to do, city and a tank close combat cards. So we got infantry cards, we got anti-tank gun cards, so reference cards, and then we've got damage cards. So you draw that, I think that's a hit, reshuffle the deck. Um, we've got different criteria here on the side, so kind of like uh, Kind of like an X-Wing or something like that where you draw your damage from cards. So let's work those out. These are apparently all scattered together here. And then we've got some battle cards in this deck. If you're in motion, empty your holding box. The field card. Street corner. So again, most of this will come clear, but Cards are in pretty good, uh, pretty good quality. They're very thick. Um, you know, GMT always has good cards. So, well, at least currently, of late. So, anyway, so I assume that most of these other four decks are some mixture of these cards as well. So we're not going to go through all those for brevity's sake. So you're going to get 16, 16. Look at that of these very thick. Uh, tank display cards. You got four decks of cards. They're sorting them later. You get two and a half sheets of counters for the game. Punch cleanly. Oh, these just all fell out. You saw it live here. So, two and a half sheets of counters. A Robata player aid reference card. Eight player aids. If you want to have a party, make it a party game. Uh, playbook, this is 52 pages, a rules of playbook, which is 20 pages, and as I said, four decks of cards, and that's what comes in Tank Duel, Enemy in the Crosshairs from GMT Games. Ah, there you go. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!